director of the uh, Bank of America, Chicago Marathon, and uh, uh, Dr. Chavis is our medical director, going to do uh, just a quick uh, update on uh, where we are this afternoon. Obviously, a uh, uh, great day um, from the elite side. The wheelchair division had a course record from uh, Tatiana McFadden, which was the fastest any uh, woman has ever gone in the wheelchair division, which was, uh, was great. And then Dina Castor, who you all know, um, set a U.S. Masters record today, which was uh, which was her goal. So um, happy with uh, she's very happy with that performance. So I, I think uh, I think that there's more to come from Dina. She seemed to be uh, when I saw her momentarily after she finished, she seemed to have uh, plenty left in the tank, and uh, I think we'll see her in our U.S. Olympic trials. Um, crowds on the courses, both in the city of Chicago, the neighborhoods. The turnout was amazing. I've had a chance to talk to our elite athletes, some of the athletes, some runners that are in the hotel um, that have run a couple of these said the crowds were as big as they uh, have seen them and energetic and enthusiastic. Obviously, uh, great day for spectators uh, uh, to come out on the course. So I just want to thank the neighborhoods and the residents that, uh, that supported everyone on that. Uh, I have I've had a chance to talk to uh, a couple of our aid station captains. Uh, I'll follow up this afternoon. Um, but I just uh, I felt our planning and our operations, logistics, everything uh, went, uh, went very well today. Obviously, the messaging that we sent out, uh, the event alert system uh, with yellow, and also just letting everyone know uh, about uh, the warmer temperatures as we got later into the day. I think that was uh, that was effective. We were able to message that Wednesday, last Wednesday, and then uh, through the week, and then at the expo. So uh, I think that was very uh, very effective. So. Um, all in all, from, from my perspective, obviously there's more information to come this afternoon. We'll have more, more um, contact with our, with our teams. But what I'd like to do is have uh, our medical de director, uh, George Champis, um, uh, talk to you for a second. Thanks, Thanks Gary. Um, our numbers are obviously we still have some numbers out uh, on the course, uh, approximately 4,000 that are still um, out there. Um, at this point in time, we've had 35,000 runners uh, finish. Uh, and as Carrie mentioned, our event alert system was yellow, uh, and we're uh, uh, pleased because it seemed like the runners actually heeded that advice and slowed down um, and listened to their body. Um, uh, we obviously still had a typical day that we would have for a marathon. Um, our teams were busy. Um, we worked collectively and collaboratively with uh, our city agencies as well as our medical staff, uh, and at this point, uh, uh, we're still taking care of our runners that are finishing off the course. Can you spell your name for me, please? Yeah, sorry. Uh, George, G-E-R-G-E, -E, last name Champas, C-H-I-A, Amazon Mary, P-A-S, Medical Director, Bank of America, Chicago Marathon. Did George, did anybody need to be taken to hospitals? Yes, uh, we had, uh, at this point, 45 runners uh, transported to local hospitals. And can anybody in serious condition? Uh, we had one cardiac arrest on the course uh, that uh, we were able to resuscitate. And uh, obviously, uh, our teams worked really diligently, and, and uh, we're obviously, uh, you know, excited for the fact that you know uh, that happened, and that a runner uh, today is going to be going home, or is, is going to be doing okay, uh, based on the fact that uh, they had a pretty significant incident on the course. And the latest information about that runner is that he or she is in what condition? Um, based on the information that I've had uh, via our command center, is that the individual is awake and talking in the hospital. No, I mean, uh, during uh, a marathon of this magnitude, you know, we'll typically see 2-3% to 3 of the runners requiring medical encounters, um, and we had that, um, and we prepare for that. Um, 45 hospital transports, um, last year we had 34 hospital transports in much cooler conditions. So we saw a little bit more environmental issues this year and, and uh, some heat issues, uh, but we were pre pre prepared for that, and uh, um, nothing really out of the ordinary of what we typically see you know, with, with the, these types of endurance events. It's good. Uh, again, uh, on behalf of uh, our event, uh, just would like to thank uh, the City of Chicago, the Agency of Chicago Park District, everyone that, uh, that plays uh, a role in the, in the year-round planning cycle and, and the success, uh, success of the event. Uh, 
it, uh, it, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of teamwork, um, and uh, it's, uh, it's a very rewarding partnership. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll start looking forward in a couple of weeks to uh, 2016.